focus on our bodies, who we want to be, who we trying to be, and who we trying to portray. So we'll look at people like Beyonce and Bill Gates and all these people, and we go to portray them. But when you're portraying somebody, what you do is you try to act like somebody. You try to take the character of somebody. Come on now, you try to be them. You're trying to feed into their lifestyle. So that is what Gatorade is doing in water, trying to portray to be like water, to fit into water, but it can never compare. Amen. And that is how we are today in the world. And what we forgot was we had no meaning, we had power. Amen. God spoke all these things in our life, Woo. but we switched it around once sin came. But thank God that Jesus had died on the cross because he had sung the Holy Spirit to give us to give us that knowledge again Amen. of who we are, to bring us back to the beginning of who we was created to be. Uh -huh. And so therefore, our minds and our thoughts have been transformed to be the body instead of the spirit. But the Holy Spirit came so we can be the spirit instead of the body. Amen. Come on now. Because the spirit can do things that and then it command the body, it command life on earth to, to be obedient to you. If you just speak to it, if you just speak to the situations and speak to the things that's going on around you, you won't have to feel hopeless like you did when you just was in bo your body. Amen. So the world is trying to manipulate the spirit Whoa. to see the truth and the true you because the true you is a king, but if you don't see the true you, you will be a servant. More you will be a servant in your own Whoa. kingdom. You will, you will go from being at the top, you'll be forever be, you'll go from being <laughs> in the chair to being in the in the crowd in the in the crowd screaming. You'll forever go so you'll go from the chair to being the servant and the maid when you had it on the whole time. But that's what the devil do today to us. And that's what I'm trying to tell everybody. Go from the beginning of who you are. Go from the beginning because something about the beginning that the devil don't want us to know. It's something about the beginning that the devil is trying to keep us from knowing. Uh -huh. See, the beginning have it all. The beginning have who you truly are, but you will never know if you continue to look at the body and what you're trying to be. Yeah. And what the devil confused us in the beginning, or even now, Come on. that they thought they didn't have, oh. or, or guessed, or he made them question Come on. who they was when they knew who they was. Come on. And I tell you, That's it. you you know you a girl, but I'm telling you, you a man. Or how you a man girl, you got the same room as a man. Oh. So now you're questioning yourself, is I'm really a woman or is I'm a man? Because the devil tells you, you got the same rib as a man, but God told you you have a womb. Uh -huh. But yet the devil got you questioning, is I'm really a woman? Do I really have a wound? Or because, see, I got me, I got some similarities in me. So now he got your mind manipulated. See, and that's what he's been doing, is manipulating a lot of us over and over. And that's why we go to envy and others, and we're looking at all this because we're trying to be like them. When God is telling you, you don't need to be like nobody because you are me. I made you like me. And so if you could just stand it to where, where, if you could just stand, and, and be who I made you to be, you will not lack. You will not question. You will not doubt. You will not beg. You will not thirst. Because he, he made you with water. He made you full. He made you overflow. He made you all these things. But we forgot. Mm -hmm. As people, as humans, we forgot. Uh -huh. We forgot. Because we forgot who we are. And, and also, by us forgetting, we also run our body down. By trying to be something we're not. Uh -huh. See, because when you try so hard to be something you're not, you can run your body down. And that's how a lot of us get sick. Mm -hmm. A lot of us die from cancer. Because we see, oh, all these rappers smoking, all these people chilling in the clubs. So we go every weekend trying to be like these people. Uh -huh. Partying, Come on. clubbing, chilling. Come on. And so we running our bodies down to the ground. Come on. If we could just know who we are, or who God told us we were, if we just know who we are, we won't have to put so much stress 
on the body. Like, they put so much stress on trying to be like somebody because trying to be like something cause you to stress sometimes. Yeah, trying right. to be successful cause you to stress. There's right. a lot of people that are rich and successful, but they are stressing and dying that's because right. they can't enjoy who they who they work hard to be. That's right. Because they overwork themselves. They forgot who the who God told them they were, so they overwork themselves to be like somebody who they're not. Or trying to be like somebody who they envy or, or or look up to. When all we have to do is look up to Christ. Yeah. Or we looked up to him, we'll have perfect health like him. Ha. Perfect, ha. perfect image, perfect everything. Come we on. can stand, we can walk, and we won't even fall. We won't we'll trip a little. But that's just nothing. We all trip sometimes, but we won't fall. Amen. Because he told us he won't let us fall. Amen. Amen. The beginning, he told me I had power. I'll be fruitful. I can multiply. I can replenish the earth. Who's I that? can subdue, subdue it, which control it. I control anything in this earth. Ah. So why do I have to be like the earth if I can control the earth? Amen. Why would you try to be something that God already told you you can control? Amen. God set an example on earth for us. Of the perfect example. Amen. Not just because he was his son, but because he obeyed. Amen. Because if you think about it, we all his children. We all are him. We are him. So we are Christ. Amen. 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 See, some people think, oh, it was Jesus. That's why. That's his son. I mean, I respect it. I mean, yes, it's his son. But it's something he needed to do to show us. Yeah, I'm his son, but I obey. So if I can obey, you can obey. Because I have flesh like you. Amen. I have flesh like you. I get tempted like you. The devil came at me multiple times like you. So if I'm able to get through it, what makes you think you can't get through? Amen. Amen. You can get through anything. And he showed us through Christ anything is possible. You can do anything. You just put your heart and mind to it. Because Jesus did it and the Holy Spirit did it through him. So if we just allow the Holy Spirit to work through us and to know. And to know that no matter what's on this earth, I don't care what liquor, what, what activities, what anything on this earth can I give you what the Holy Spirit or what the Lord gave us in the beginning. And that's completion. You are complete. Don't think you lost anything. You never lost nothing. God had it for you in the beginning. Therefore, he's just trying to bring you back to who you are and trying to remind you you had it. Don't think you lost anything in the process. But it took a process to get back to where the beginning to where we was in the day. It takes a process. When you was going through your struggles or trials, God is there. Amen. He's there. He's just waiting for a time to manifest in some people's lives. It's like for us, he's manifesting in our lives now. So we have to take charge and control over it and spread the word and let everybody else know because he's moving mightily and we're in the last days. So we all have to be willing and yield ourselves to, to the Holy Ghost. Amen. Yield ourselves to Him Amen. and allow Him to move in somebody else's life. Come you on. don't know what word you have in you. Come you on. You have a word in you or you have a miracle in you that can change somebody's life today. Somebody's life today. Whether it's a friend, a brother, a sister, a neighbor, you have a word in you today that needs to be poured down in somebody. Yes, and that's where the Holy Spirit comes. Because he will work and he knows all things. So he will work through you to just to heal somebody else and to get them to God. And mm -hmm. for them to know the beginning like we knew the beginning. Uh -huh. So the world is not, the world is not, let me say, God's people is not in danger. This is the time now. Because God's people is going back to the beginning. Oh, of who we are. Amen. So therefore, the devil think it's over, but it's just the beginning. Because that's where God taking us back to, the beginning. So in a house and cook and clean to the point where if you say a woman is supposed to cook and clean, oh, you're sexist. Oh, you, you look down on women. You're a woman oppressive. Right. You, you don't stand for equality. Right. And I realized that that's where the manipulation comes in at. Because the Bible says what a woman should be. It already says it. Who are we to rewrite the Bible? God said God gave this word to his people for us to read now. And so this is what we take. But society took it and tried to snatch it away from us so we don't know where our place is. You know, the world took it and said, oh, you want to stay at home and cook and clean? Oh, what type of woman are you? 
you're a soft woman, you're a woman who has no ground. Right. But in reality, once you do what society, what, what God tells you to do, you fulfilled your purpose. And what greater purpose is it to fulfill than God's purpose? Right, right. Mm-hmm. You know, so it's a twisted, it's a twisted way that that the world manipulates us. Mm-hmm. We know we 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 know who we are, mm-hmm. but if we looking for identity in the world, we'll lose who we are. Mm-hmm. We already got, we already hit the jackpot when God made us. Amen. But we keep going back to the lotto and giving our money, trying to get more, uh, giving our money, uh, trying to get more. Uh, By the end of the day, you won nothing and got nothing. Uh, you won nothing and you got nothing. Yes, yes, yes. So if, if, when you when you go into the world looking for identity, they're just snatching it away from you bit by bit. You were, came into the church and they told you, hey, you, this is what you're supposed to do. Right. But you allow your friends coming in and saying, but maybe do this, but maybe do that. But it would be better if you did this, because we doing it. Right. And it's not like you getting away from God and nothing like that. You just chilling with us for a little bit. Right. We just we just doing this. What is not what God said to do. Right. Mm-hmm. You know? And bit by bit, you don't know it yet, but your identity is being taken away from you. Bit by bit to the point where you looking back and you was this person before when you got in Christ and now you this person. That's now, right. And slowly the world likes to manipulate us and change our minds. And the thing is, the devil knows we curious people. Right. He knows we curious people. That's why so many inventions are being made to this day. As we speak, things are happening. People are finding new things right. and things are becoming like things are on this earth now. And so he knows that. So you know, he drops this in there. He says, Look at that. Look at that. That's nice. Oh, right. you know, look at that. You curious? How about go to this website? You know, how about go to this website and look at it a little yes, bit? Because yes. you're curious. <laughs> you know? Oh, God won't blame you, right? Because he knows who you are when he made you. You are curious. So go look. It don't hurt to try, but it does hurt to try. It does hurt to try. You know, it's like, it's like an axe right. on a tree. Right. It don't, you don't feel it at first because this tree is real sturdy. God made you to stand strong. Right. But every time he hit, you're right. thinking, oh, I'm just trying it, but it's, it's still a dent there. Right. And every time he hit it, the dent get bigger. But you don't know it. You think it's just a hit. Right. It's just a hit. Right. But every time he hit, the tree is getting less and less sturdy until right. eventually you just fall down. <laughs> eventually you just fall down. Wow. You think just one hit at a time, one hit at a time, oh, it's nothing, it was just this little bit. Right. Eventually, you're on the ground. Right. So, you got to stand tall, you got to stand sturdy. Remember about me. In the beginning, like you said, God gave us Himself. Right. Right. We right. have God. It was never about us. Mm-hmm. We had God's living mind. Yeah. Once uh. we bent from the fruit, it's us now. Yes. It's us in shame now. Uh. It's us confused now. It's us in sin now. It was never supposed to be about us. Come well, that's on, where the devil come in at. Right. You think that look good to eat, right. don't you? Uh. You like that apple. Right. Go take a bite of that apple. Right. And right. you curious? Go take a bite. Come on. That's the manipulation. Right. You're making it about you now. Right. It was never about you in the beginning. It's not about you now. You worrying about you is how you get all messed up. Right. I like this, so I'm going to go do this. But God said, follow me. Lean not on your own understanding. I am Alpha and Omega, beginning and the end. Yes. What you what you doing on your own? That's on you. But it, when it comes to my my word, right. you do this. Right. You do this. Don't right. try to mix me up with you, cause then you're blaming me. Yes. And my word say, put me first, and all things will be added. But you worried about you. Right. You want this right now, and God said. Worry about me first, right. then we gonna worry about you. Right. But you don't do that, right. so now you like God let me down. Come on. Now. What type of God we serve? Go. Amen. What type of God is this that I asked him for this? And he said no. He said he will supply all my needs, but I'm looking for it and it's not there. He said he will supply all his needs according to his riches and glory. Yes. And it got nothing to do with you. Right, right. Let his riches and glory supply the need. Right. You over here struggling for your own money, you hustling. Right. His riches and glory. Right. And this is what the world manipulates you. It, 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 it tells you, focus on you. You first. You first. Take care of you. Right. Let's hustle for you. But it was never about you. Right. And focusing on you is what got you in the mess you're in now. Right. You know, Adam and Eve in the beginning, they they had God. They didn't, they didn't even know they was naked because they didn't care to look at themselves. It wasn't about them. Right. It was about God. Right. So once God left, now you left with you. Right. And look at you. Now you ashamed right. and the midst of God, and he, you was you was with him in the beginning, right. right? So now, when you focus on yourself, this is where all the sin comes in. This is where 
all the problem comes in. Yes. As, as soon as we open our mind to the devil, he, he runs in. Right. He snatches it because he knows there's nothing that we won't say or do if, if it's fun. If, if, it's, if it's good, if it focus on us. Right. You know, that's why you got to stand strong. That's why the Bible said, pray in the spirit. Right. Amen. Because you need this help. Right. Amen. You, you can't do it on your own. If that's where temptation comes in, it's right. you. Right. This is you. When right. temptation comes, he attacking your body, your flesh. Pray in the spirit mm -hmm. and you won't go to temptation because you got something to fight at all. Amen. You're not fighting it by yourself. You got the Holy Spirit to right. take right. it away from you, to get away from you. And you, you got... That's why we even say run. That's how serious this flesh thing is. Right. That's how serious this self-centric thing is. Right. Cause you gotta run from it. Amen. If you gotta run from it, how serious is this yeah. flesh thing? Yeah. Right. 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 How hell breaks loose when it's about you. Right. It can't be about you. Right. It's like I sent help. Right. So in this world, we can't make it about us. It's so easy to get caught up in us. And maybe sometimes we don't know we caught up in us. Like I said, simply asking God for something, and He said. Wait. If he says to wait and you can't wait, then you're making it about you because he he told you something. Right. This is him with you. Right. God telling you to wait is him with you. Yes. You saying, I'm going to go get it myself, is you right. by yourself. Now it's about you. Mm -hmm. And now you can't pay the bill. Uh -huh. And now you can't keep it up. Right. And now it's been taken from you yeah. and you in a whole mess because yes. you made it about you. Yes. It was never about you. And it's so, like I said, it's so easy. All the laws they make now is about you. Be who you want to be. I find your identity. Right. This is you. Don't let nobody tell you who you can't be. Right. You know, do this for yourself. Right. You first. Right. You know, and it's like, me it first. was never about me. If you like Felicia said, if you go back to the beginning, it was never about me. Right. And now we hear, and if you don't go back to the beginning, now you're here with yourself, and they're using it against you. They're using yourself against yes. you. Yes. They're using yes. what you, they know how you think, and they're using it against Yes. Nobody's stupid. The, the government and anybody in society is not stupid. Right. They know the Bible. Mm. They study that thing from mm. back to front so they can find ways to manipulate you. Right. Wow. You, if you're not reading the Bible, if you're not praying the Holy Spirit, you don't know nothing. Right. And oh. now you over here looking stupid. Why they flipping you up and down? Because you don't know who you are. You don't know that it's not about you. And now you by yourself. Yes. And they got all the ways to manipulate yes. you. They just get in your head right. and turn you all over. Right. Uh, right. That's why now, in God, in what is our model? In God we trust. trust. Yes. In God we trust. Yes. They don't say, in Abraham we can we trust. trust. No. They don't say, in Obama we trust. And Not even Trump we trust. And in God we trust. You got to go back to the beginning where God was with you. Yes. He said, I Even sinners know they need God. Uh -huh, they yeah. might not have him in them, but he they know I 
I need to go to somebody who got God. That's right. I can't do with this situation by that's myself. That's right. right. And it was and that's because it was never about you right. in the beginning. Right. It was never about you to begin with. Right. You always needed God. Right. And now you have God. Use God. Right. Don't just let God lay doormat. Right. Because then you back to where you started. Yeah. And you got God. Right. He kicked him 